Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you. Uh, I'm going to make a series of apologetic videos uh, refuting Mansour. He's a Muslim apologist that uh, I debated in Hyde Park. And also this is in reference to Shamsi. Um, my experience of debating these uh, Muslim apologists in Hyde Park, um, I enjoyed debating them, but I found them, I really did find them intellectually dishonest. Um, and the reason being is uh, Shamsi at the end of the debate said that the camera had run out of one of his guys and he did it just as he asked me a difficult question on the incarnation and he ran off then he went and made a clip and put it a video clip straight after that and put it onto the video when they uploaded it so there was like editing and meandering and doctoring the video and dishonesty there and I met Shamsi <clears throat> this Sunday and I like the guy, he's a really likeable guy, I think he's a, a really, I, I really, really find him a, an interesting guy and I, I really like uh, Shamsi, I really do. But Shamsi, that, that was intellectually dishonest and you've no shame about it, you're not bothered about it, you don't care about it, you're just really bothered about winning rather than actually being honest and open and having fair academic discussion and debate, you're acting like the internet atheist. Um, and the same with Mansour, um, I debated him and I asked if I could use the videos uh, to his guys and they said no. So again, intellectually dishonest and I went on one, one, web, uh, on one YouTube channel and if you look for the videos, the videos are up on a couple of uh, Muslim uh, channels and one Muslim channel has actually edited some of the bits that they've edited, they've taken bits where I quote Adif's they've taken them out they've also um, taken the bit out where I say do you love me and um, then they've you know Mansur didn't answer me and he said I was gay so one site has taken that out another site has kept it in so I don't know what they're going to do they might put it back in now they might edit it I don't know but they've edited it one site has edited it that's why I wanted the copy of the video so that if there was any editing people could see the full debate so the third thing as well is Shamsi and Mansour have been asked to have academic debates where rather than this gunslinging uh, Al Capone apologetics where you they just bully you and they they argue with you to the point where you can't get your point in and really they just try and control the conversation um, to have a, a more of an academic discussion where where this is timed and people can bring in the the footnotes and scholarly information they didn't want that and and that shows the measure of the kind of people that the christian apologists are up against in high Park. so i'm going to make a series of videos and the series of videos are just going to go through the issue with shamsi and mansoor and and then mainly Mansoor later on so I hope you enjoy the videos the, the 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 videos are to be scholarly to be intellectually honest and I invite Muslims I invite Muslim apologists to take these videos seriously as someone who's sincere who's studying Islam and sincerely studying and grappling with the issues that Islam brings so this is not uh, to try and cut just score points this is trying to get to the truth and wherever the truth lies may May that be the truth and may we go down that, that path. Um, I, I have to say that the Shamsi debate, I treated Shamsi more, with more respect than Mansour. And the reason I didn't treat, treat Mansour with respect is because I asked him straight away, would you debate me later in a proper academic way? And he wouldn't. So I lost respect for him when he wouldn't do that because I thought to myself, uh, Mansour, you're not intellectually honest, and this debate that we're going to have now, this discussion, it's just going to be you bullying me and trying to uh, push your opinion on me rather than let me have a proper debate where I can bring my scholarship in and, and actually like really counteract your arguments. So often when I wanted to answer him, and he said, right, I'll let you, and as about to, he'd butt in. And then if he did let me speak... It's only to twist my words or to, you know, I, I caught him out calling me a liar 
and I and I got him to apologise because uh, he said um, that I said he hadn't read Bart Ehrman, but I didn't. I said you hadn't read Doctor Bauer, and he he said you're lying about me, and I said no. You, I said Doctor Bauer. You haven't read Doctor Bauer, not 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 Bart Ehrman, and he and he apologised, but he said oh I misheard you, but. You shouldn't be calling people a liar like that straight away in a in a discussion. That that's not a scholarly way to to go about things, you know. But I knew this already. I knew this at the start of the discussion. You see, so I wasn't. I was just messing about with him. I was just look. I just don't take you seriously because you you're just not conducting yourself in a in a proper manner. So I was just uh, acting the fool and having a laugh and and there was a bit that I wanted to bring in. That I was just buying my time. I was just like smoke screening him, uh, arguing about semantics, just to get to the point where I wanted to get onto the issue, and that issue is the which we're going to talk about in the next video. The issue that I've been wanting to talk about with the Muslim apologist in Hyde Park is the issue of <coughs> a critical edition of the Quran. That is the main issue that I wanted to talk about and I'm going to get to that issue now in the next video the critical edition of the Quran this is the issue of issues with the Muslims this is the fall of Islam this is the finishing of Islam this is the destruction of Islam this is the end of Islam it's the critical edition of the Quran and I didn't really want to go down to Hyde Park this time I really didn't because I'd had debates with atheists for many years and and I found that I have a degree in theology, uh, I've studied at MA, I've studied under some of the best theologians in the UK, I, and I really have, I'm not just saying it. Uh, I really know my stuff when it comes to theology and stuff. And um, when I crossed swords with the atheist, I could never get that scholarship out. There was always uh, saying I was ill or saying, saying all sorts of horrible, horrible things, and not only doing that, they were doing things outside of the internet really hurtful things that were terrible and uh, so really they just made me ill and broke me down because they were attacking me as a person and they wouldn't let me get my scholarship out they wouldn't let me get my information out and uh, I had a debate with Aaron Ra and Thunderfoot and um, DPR Jones once and it was a waste of time because I knew my stuff I was bringing stuff out and they they started arguing and getting angry and then that made me have to strive with them and then it made my scholarship ineffectual because it was a harangue match rather than a proper discussion and that's what they want as so long as they get that it doesn't matter because the truth doesn't matter to them you see so I didn't want to go down to Hyde Park because I thought we go down to Hyde Park these main premier apologists down there like Hamza uh, Mansour Shamsi and people like that. They don't want to have a proper discussion, a proper debate. They don't want proper uh, academic discussion. They, what they do is they find non-Christians, uh, sorry, they find young Christians and they pounce on them and then they, they, they don't know much and then they batter them all over the place and then, you know, they make them look stupid type of thing and that's all they're interested in. They're not actually interested in debating people who know their stuff, who want to bring good scholarship to the table and and the the proof was that Mansur did not want a proper debate uh, he, he just wanted a, a burr fit burr pit kind of debate and the burr pit is like when you're there you, you've got like I had about 30 Muslim guys around me and uh, there was about two or three Christians but there was about 30 guys around me all, all in total so it's a bear pit. They're there not to listen to the truth. They're there to control the discussion with Mansur. And that's what they did. And Mansur, uh, using the bear pit for his own, own benefit, his own Muslim brothers to kind of um, intimidate you. And, you know, if you notice he addresses the crowd, well, they're all his people, <laughs> you know. Um so it's very difficult environment to actually have a discussion with because you've got 30 or 40 Muslim brothers around you 
they're not interested in the truth, they're golding you, they just want to see you tore it apart. Mansur is playing to the gallery, he's not really listening to you, he's not really wanting to engage with what you're saying. And I caught him out on a number of times, I caught him out on, um, had you read the Cambridge uh, edition to the Quran? No. Uh, it, I, I've read it a bit, I, I said I've read it all. Uh, he quoted uh, Bruce Metzer, he didn't really know much about Bruce Metzer, he said he did but he didn't. And he quoted Westcott, uh, a, a, a guy that I'd read uh, quite a bit about. So, and 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 he and he was presenting himself as if he knew stuff, but he was just quoting from this Islamic awareness website. And the issue about the Islamic website is that they cherry pick. They're not really proper scholars where they're engaging with critically with people who would disagree with them. Uh, and that's my issue uh, on Christian websites. Uh, we're proper scholars. The, the the Christians do engage and quote scholars against them and, and tell you to go and read the scholars that are different from us. That's proper scholarship. Whereas the Islamic side doesn't really do that. Um, and you can see that on Islamic awareness. Uh, so when he was calling me out about quoting uh, from uh, the Christian book, uh, Lee Strubble, the point is I knew that Bruce Metzer would be brought up. And that that book is a Christian book, but it's a full interview. So if I make a quote, every Muslim there can check it right there because it's a full interview. And that was the issue there. But he, he wouldn't let me uh, get to that uh, and tell you about that. Whereas on the Islamic awareness, he's quoting from Bruce Metzer from a book where we don't know the context. And that's the issue that I was on about. So I'm going to go through all these issues. And um, first thing I want to do uh, deal with is the critical edition of the Quran. So I'll do the next video.